Hello everyone, I am Kagato, and I am the final boss. Two things before I get started. One, what happened to episode 75, the live stream? Well, YouTube corrupted it. It somehow got extended to 17 hours instead of the four hours of the live stream. And as a result, the game moved very slowly. And unfortunately, there is no way to fix this. Thankfully, it was just a grinding session, but anybody that wanted to see that, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it. So I greatly apologize. So therefore, this will be episode 75. Number two, you might have noticed there's a little bit of a difference in my voice. I'm going to be trying a different sound profile and see how well this works out. It's a little bit more professional than before, so let me know how you guys think. Is it better sounding? Is it worse? Let me know. So, with that in mind, let's go on ahead and continue with Persona 3 FES. We are nearing the end of the game. I had reached the end of Tartarus. It is done. The only remaining parts of Tartarus that are left only open up on the very last day the game is playable. So there's nothing left to do in Tartarus. It's all social links and then the final battles from here on out. You overhear a conversation. Lately, even the late night comedy shows have been talking about the end of the world. It feels creepy. Are you still talking about that? By the way, I wanted to show you this magazine that hit the stands today. Magazine? Don't tell me it's about cults. Well, just read it for yourself. You'll see how true it really is. Nozomi, are you going to the tabloids and such now? Enough with your paradise bullshit. I thought we solved this. Everything sounds so sad. And now we have happy fun times music. Oh yeah, you actually are the person I need to speak with today. What's wrong? I hope I'm not disturbing you. I was wondering if you're free after school today. Oh, and she's blushing! I'd like us to spend some time together if it's not too inconvenient for you. I'm starting to understand why people are really liking Mitsuru, because once she's starting to break out of her shell, she's actually pretty damn cute. <laughs> Wait, is it? Oh! Wow, it's even this kind of music during the lectures, too. Whew. It's cold. I should have my skin plated. What? You want to be Colossus? I'd shine as bright as the sun. You'd also blind everyone. You all know what plating is, right? It's a process to cover objects in a thin metallic layer. Tin plating is done by plating iron t with tin. For corrugated galvanized iron, you plate iron with zinc. Chemistry, everyone! Gold medals, by the way, are created by plating silver with gold. So, technically, Olympic athletes don't win gold medals. It's kind of sad. Well, technically, if they really didn't care, they could just melt it down and sell the gold and make a fortune off of that thing. Although, I guess it comes to... It's a good question whether or not an Olympic gold medal is worth more than the gold it is made out of if it were made out of gold. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. You'll feel tired. Yeah, let's doze off. Bonk. I don't care so much. My condition's not great, though. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, so now I go get to see Mitsuru, and I have no idea why I almost talked to that guy that was going to teleport me out. Man, just with the music, it truly does sound like this is it. This is the end. Alright, Mitsuru, what did you want to talk about? Alright, off we go! Into the wild blue yonder! Ford Island Station, movie theater! Oh, so you like the movies! Wow, 
Wow, she's a movie watcher. I've been wanting to see that movie for a long time. It was very entertaining. Even though it was a typical road trip movie, the way the characters expressed their emotions was great. The main character sacrificed everything just to go on a journey with his friends. And then, in the final scene, he decided to return to his normal life. I wonder if he was happy with that decision. Oh! Comparing it to your own life, are we? Hey, Jirai. Have you ever thought about going to a place like that? Somewhere far away where no one knows who you are? Yeah, sure, why not? I love traveling. Really? I'm surprised to hear that. I didn't know you felt that way. Of course I got a smile. Uh, she said. Don't misunderstand me. I don't yearn to leave everything behind. It's just that sometimes it's easy to become bound by the things that are important to you. The future of the company, all my responsibilities. I wish I didn't have to worry so much. I read that completely wrong, but same thing! Sometimes I feel shackled by my family name. However, I know that kind of thing is not permitted. <laughs> I've become so undisciplined, constantly complaining. <laughs> I must bore you with all my griping. Sir seems to trust you. Yay! I am now that on I Empress level up! Da -da -da -da. You are one step closer to getting that. Your relationship has grown closer. There's something I want to ask you. Now, hypothetically, what would you think if I told you that I'm interested in someone? And even though I can never be with him, I can't stop thinking about him. What? Would that be wrong? Hypothetically? No, I don't think so. Jirai. What? What did I say? What did I do? That's not wrong. Um, Jirai. I'm gonna have to go back and look over that. Did I do something wrong? I shouldn't have hurt her. I. I it should, there should be nothing wrong about liking someone and that sh th he's on her mind and such. There's nothing wrong with that. But uh, I'm so confused. How did I hurt her? There you are. Mitsuru. I've been looking for you. I didn't expect to find you here. We're leaving. Let's go. Wait a minute. I didn't make any plans with you for today. Well, my business meeting for this evening was canceled. I'm a very busy man. You're just going to have to adjust your schedule tomorrow. Excuse you, buddy! I can't. I've already made plans. Well, you can break them. Well, I can break you! I don't think you have anything more important to do with, than spend time with me. Yeah, I think I'm going to break you. Kagato smash! Don't look so sullen. You know this benefits you as well, don't you? I thought you understood our arrangement. Now, you are to be my wife, and you are to be obedient. You know what? Let's skip the breaking thing. Let's just completely destroy this guy. What do you all say? Everyone, line up, single file. We will all take turns punching this man in the balls. Assuming he has any. Why must you and your family always be so difficult? You know it's not going to be difficult? Me beating your face. Well, at least your father is no longer... Uh, I am relieved at that! Oh! Oh ho! Oh ho ho! Okay! Sir, prepare to die! I imagine you- What? <laughs> Every time I hit the button, he says something more that makes me want to hurt him more. 
How could you say that? Zuru is trembling with anger. I don't blame her! I would be on my way up to beat the fuck out of this guy! Calm the Zuru down or say something to the guy. Yeah, let's go on it. No, let's just skip the same. Let's just punch him with the balls. You, sir, are a dick. In fact, I hope you like yours because I'm removing it from your body. Now, if you do not kindly turn away and run away as far away as you can in about five seconds, you're going to be eating your own dick. Five. Four. Three. Who the hell are you? Two. This is none of your business. Get lost. One. Listen, Mitsuya. Corporate management is not child's play. No matter how smart you are, you're still going to need my knowledge and experience. And the Corrigio Group still needs the cooperation of my company, does it not? Yes. Good girl, Mitsuru. I knew you would listen to reason. Countdown over! Beat your ass right now! Let's go. I made reservations for us at a luxurious restaurant. I also told them what you're gonna be eating, and I'm also going to tell the tailor what to make you wear for the night. Please, enjoy these handcuffs and leash. Very well. I wish you hadn't seen that, Jirai. Well, thank you. I had a lot of fun today. And I'm sorry. Please excuse me. Mitsuru is leaving. What will you do? I'm gonna fucking beat the fuck out of her! Him! Unhand me, you barbarian! That is assault! You damn right it is! <laughs> I hope that you're an organ donor. If I have been injured in any way, Mitsuru is the one who will be forced to pay the price. Oh! Well then, I suppose I'm not going to injure you. I'm just going to kill you and bury your fucking remains, you piece of shit. Mitsuru is looking at you with surprise. By the way, you. What business do you have with her? You want to know what business I have with her? I'm the final fucking boss! You should know your place in society. Yeah, I'm above you! An ordinary person like you is not fit to interact with people like Mitsuru and myself. You're right, that's why I'm gonna dust myself clean of feces like yourself. Don't you understand? You're just a nuisance. Oh, I plan to be more than just that, dickhead! I can't believe this. If you continue to befriend derelicts such as this, Mitsuru... What? <laughs> what do you plan on doing? Bring it! That's enough. Mitsuru? I said that's enough. I won't let you insult him. Why are you getting so... <laughs> Gee, I wonder why! If you insult him... You insult me. Mitsuru, what are you talking about? How dare you say he should know his place? You can't even compare to him. He lives life on his own terms, and he has taught me not to fear the future. I, I want to be with him now and forever. Holy shit. Want to be with him? <laughs> you damn straight. Bring it, dude. Now and forever. What on earth are you talking about? You're my fiance. <laughs> you think that I'm inferior to this hooligan? I suggest you retract that statement, Mitsuru. I will only forgive you if you apologize to me this instance. Think about the future of your company. I will not apologize. I want to be with him. You don't care about me or how I feel. The Corrigio group can stand on its own. You don't need any help from a person like you. 
From today, you and I are strangers. And if you try to do anything malicious, I will use the power of the group to destroy you. Holy shit! Get out of here, you snob. I don't want to see your face ever again. <laughs> you better do what she says. You don't want to see the Matsuru execution. Grandfather! Grandfather! Help me! Ah! You're picking on me, Grandpa! Ah! That was awesome! Holy shit! That was awesome! Okay! Mitsuru! Mitsuru, holy shit! I think I fucking love you now! I. You were fucking awesome! <laughs> I, uh. I just said that you were awesome! Well. Granted, I said you were fucking awesome, but I only said you were awesome. Fuck you, right? Mitsuru, come back! Mitsuru! Mitsuru, why? No! I went back alone. Whoa, we got more stuff going on. Oh, there you are. <laughs> so after this, we go to this. This is turning into an eventful evening. We're all going to, uh, Hakakure. Wanna come? Well, if you had said Wild Duck Burger, I would have said, Fuck yeah! But it is Hakakure, so... Eh, fuck yeah! Sure! Wow, that was easy. Yeah, right it is! Akihiko-san's buy-in. You remember that bet we made in Yakushima? No. Uh, you probably forgot all about it by now. Yeah. Well, you won in the end. Even if it was, I guess. Oh, that's Operation Babe Hunt. Yep, I get all the bitches. But whatever. Akihiko-san's still lost, right? It took me like six months to make him accept that fact. Ha! He was really that thick that he couldn't accept defeat. So come on, everyone else already left. We gotta hurry. Uh... Everyone else already- and you stayed and wait- You stayed and waited for me. Junpei, you are a true buddy. Is the special okay for everyone? <laughs> and we all realize that <laughs> Mitsuru is not there. I know they technically have nothing to do with each other, but simply for the fact of how the event before led into this so seamlessly and that Mitsuru is not there, kind of almost makes it feel almost canon in a way. Uh, sure, sounds good to me. Okay, five specials, please. Wait a minute, where the hell's Ken? And why is Agus there? She doesn't eat, does she? Does Agus eat? How can she eat? She's a robot. I'm so confused. This just raises too many questions. Man, this is awesome. Akihiko-san's never treated us all to ramen before. Hey, why do I have to treat everyone? Because you offered. <laughs> Not this again. I've got plenty of money. I'll treat everyone. Come on, Akihiko-san. A bet's a bet. Oh wait, no I don't, I remembered. I used all of my money trying to re-summon personas and fuse them together and such. Never mind, Akihiko, you can do it. All right, all right. I never said I wouldn't. <laughs> you look so sad. This article looks quite disturbing. Eh. Emergence of a Messiah. The charismatic one speaks. Oh. Colts, end of the world stuff. Yeah, fun reading. Uh, it must be about that doomsday cult. They're all over the internet, too. What the? There's a picture of their leader. Let me guess. It's Takaya, isn't it? No, it's Nozomi! Hey, that's... He's the villain all along! I is that Takaya? Yep, Takaya. I thought something was up. 
So, Streg is behind that cult. <sighs> I've lost my appetite. Fine, I'll eat yours. Listen to what he says. Mankind is currently imprisoned by the sins of hate and anger. But soon, a savior will descend upon this world to break the chains that bind us and lift us to new heights. <sighs> this great being is Nyx. I have beheld her glory, and she has blessed me with power beyond belief. Oh! So Takaya is now in league with Nyx! Fantastic! In Nyx, there is no pain, no suffering. How the hell does he know about Nyx? That's a good question. Wait, he's saying that Nyx will save the world? That's not true! I don't think he really means what he's saying. This is all just a game to him. That son of a bitch. Hey, you know what's a good idea? Let's punch him in the balls. But there are those who do not understand this truth, even though they have also been blessed by her. They have acquired the same power as I, yet they abuse it, using it for their own personal gain. Uh... These miscreants are the ones to blame for the recent tragedies that have been plaguing our streets. Ugh. Wait, is he talking about us? Ding ding, let's give him a prize. Shh, not so loud. Oh, sorry. Hey, what's up with them calling him the charismatic one? How'd he get so popular all of a sudden? Well... Nowadays, the ladies all go for the tall, pale-skinned, shirtless guys. I think. I don't know what's going on in Japan, okay? Well, Jin's pretty well known on the internet. He's probably pretty good at stirring up trouble. So, in other words, he's a popular internet troll. Great. Yeah. I bet he orchestrated Takaya's rise to fame. Oh, those two make me sick. Brothers and sisters, I shall go forth to make preparations for Nyx's arrival. But do not fear those evildoers who desecrate their gifts. Nyx shall right their wrongs. Strega is... <laughs> Strega is made up of an internet troll and revolver Jesus. Great! May your hearts be filled with peace as you await your salvation. Blessed are those who take joy in the coming of Nyx. The revolution is here. Damn you, 4 channers! Revolution? People can't seriously be buying this crap, can they? Throughout history, those who have changed the future have often been highly charismatic. That's the end of the article. It appears that after the interview, Jin and Takaya disappeared again. Well, there's only one place they could have gone. Tartarus. They must have been planning this all along. Well, we already went through Tartarus, so... They are there, they're just beyond a place that we can't reach yet. Takaya's words have changed the mood of the entire city. Even though they won't admit it, they are all afraid. Yeah. I mean, why else would people believe this nonsense Takai is preaching? I guess people just need something to believe in. Well, no wonder there's a sense of doom in the air. We're all gonna die. Ah, yeah. Very uplifting words there, Junpei. Even though it's true, we're all gonna but die. is that so surprising? The fact that all life ends one day has nothing to do with Nyx. Death is a natural occurrence in the cycle of life. Don't all humans realize this? Yeah, but humans would rather die of old age and natural causes rather than some godlike being coming down and just wiping everyone out because they feel like it. I guess. To tell you the truth, I never even would have thought about my own death if none of this had happened. But since we've made up our minds, why don't we just leave it at that? 
Our objective is Nyx. If Strega gets in our way, we'll just have to deal with them too. I volunteer punching them in the balls first. You may all follow. I agree. We'll probably run into them at Tartarus anyways. However you look at it, we're the obstacle standing in their way. The promised day will soon be here. Yeah. We need to do all we can until then. Hey, by the way, off topic, off Kikiko, has that wound on your head healed yet? J just asking. Yeah, and we're gonna need lots of energy, so let's eat. Excuse me, I'd like to order a Hagakure bowl. You don't mind, do you, Akihiko-san? Junpei, don't forget you're having half of Igus' food, too. Wait, only half? But uh, that sounds like she does eat. But then, how? How? Oh, don't worry. I'm starving. How is this possible? She's a robot! Unless she's a robot that was built in with the digestion system then uh, how why you just better eat it all I'm confused I'm so confused uh. oh there's Mitsuru how you doing 95% of people who were referred to as charismatic by the media are fakes. Then, would Strega be considered to be in the remaining 5%? The answer is no. They don't have charisma. They're just agitators who are stirring up unrest in society. That's right! <laughs> okay! So, that was a lot that happened. Wow, that was a lot that happened. As you can see from the map, it'll be sunny skies for all week long. Those of you with entrance exams won't have to worry about getting snowed in. Now back to the studio. Now we, now back to Hyperaction News, where we give you all the day's news and more besides. Okay. Wait, is there anything I need to do tonight just to be sure? Let's see. Yeah, this was just one day of something to do. Holy crap. <laughs> This is going to end up being yet another long episode, just so I can get some stuff done. I mean, we got a little bit of storyline, and we had one social link, though that social link was fucking awesome. I still think that we need to have a little bit more substance in this episode, so let's move on, shall we? At the very least, finish out this week. Hi, I guess. Hello, Kakuta-san. Are you available after school? Uh, for now. I see. Would you be interested in walking home together? I want to be beside you. Why? I thought that you only wanted to be by my side because you wanted to impregnate me with Ryoji. You did this to me! Seems I guess would like to spend time with you after school. Eh. I wonder if fortune's been reversed yet. Because <laughs> I've been completely and utterly ignoring him for such a long time. I'm glad that I got myself an Aeon persona so I don't have to worry about I guess too much. Um, Kakuto-san, I want to be by your side. <laughs> okay, fine. Why do you have to be so goddamn cute, I guess? And you're a friggin' robot! Man, Mitsuru and I guess. <laughs> and friggin' Yukari. I mean, holy shit. And Fuka? Now that I think about it, the ladies of this game are pretty damn good. Actually, yeah, the more I think about it, holy shit, I think I prefer this cast, as far as the ladies are concerned, a little bit more than the ladies of Persona 4, except for Chie, ultimate waifu. I like this place. I can see the entire town from here. 
then again, there's y Yukiko and Naoto, and although Rise is kind of annoying, she is bubbly and fun, and God damn it, I don't know! Okay, they're both good! The Moonlight Bridge is to the right, and over there is Polonia Mall. Oh, and did you know you can also see our dorm from here? The ocean waters at Yakushima, where I had been sleeping, were clearer than these. But I prefer the view here. Before I came here, things such as liking or disliking the scenery never entered my mind. What about you, Kagato-san? Do you like this town? I like it. Seems we hey, it's got Wild Duck Burger in there. It's already a winner. I'm glad to hear that. Feeling the same way as we view the same scenery. It feels nice. Many feelings towards various things I had not recognized before are making themselves clear now. It's a little scary sometimes. She's becoming more human. But if I can change by being with you, I want to hold on to this feeling. I see. I can't remember if in Persona 4 Arena she started speaking a little bit more like a human rather than having that robotic tone to her voice. I'll have to play that again. Well, eventually I'm gonna have to play it because that does technically continue on the story. And I'm sure many of you want to see me play that, but that won't be for a while now <laughs> because I also need to finish up Persona 4 Gold. Oh man, with Persona 4 Arena and Arena 2 or Ultimax or whatever it is. Oh man, I've got a lot of ground to cover now I think about it. Yep, Persona's gonna be sticking around for a while, folks. Oh, I'm sorry to have gone on for so long. It's still January, so I imagine that you are quite cold. It would be awful if you caught a chill. Don't tell me you're gonna offer to keep me warm because unless you have blood pumping through that body, I don't think it's gonna work. Unless you have an internal heating system of some kind. In which case, woohoo! Oh god, I'm getting worked up over a robot. What's wrong with me? Hi, how was your day? Oh, nothing. Just got warmed by Igus. Apparently she's got an internal warming system. Don't touch me! It's already the middle of January. Since today is the 13th, we only have 18 more days. Let's go to Tartarus today. Hey, I don't know about you, but we're done with Tartarus until it's the 31st. I have finished Tartarus and I have leveled up way beyond what I needed to do just because I wanted to get certain personas in my group. Even though I might be overdoing it, I still want to do as much as I can right now. Uh, that. Ah, I can't find the desk. Where is it? I need to save. There we go. Oh, that button. Go back to your room. I don't know why I keep making that mistake. You know what? I'm just going to chalk it up to me just play not thinking. Because that usually happens. Ooh, we get to continue uh, Mitsuru today. <laughs> All right. I'm actually excited about this. I got a flyer at Polonia Mall when I went last time. It's the same one that was plastered all over the city. The one with the Nyx logo? Oh, so you know, or so that's how it's pronounced. I just like the local design. The stuff written here is kind of interesting too. Maybe I should ask them about it next time. Oh my god, they're getting more cult members! Oh god, it's the whole rapture thing all over again. Doom and gloom is upon us! Repent! Repent! <laughs> Yes, I am free. Huh? I hope I'm not disturbing you. You are certainly not, Mitsuru. 
Yes, I am most definitely free. Yes, let us go spend some time together. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, on my way. Mitsuru, I'm coming! That... Take it out of context, that sounds so bad. I am horrible! <laughs> okay, let's just all... Uh-oh. Well, let's just uh, avoid that one, shall we? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have, I have two girls that are pissed at me now. Yukari and Yuko. Hi, Jirai. But, oh, what? Oh, there's something new now. I wanted to talk to you properly. We can talk later if you don't have the time now. Did she say... Oh, okay. I was wondering what she said beforehand. I didn't know if she mentioned a place like one of our rooms or something. Uh, Mitsuru, I apologize for calling you fucking awesome. I didn't think I was gonna, you know, make you sad and run off and such. <laughs> I should shut up, shouldn't I? I don't think anyone will find us up here. I use my authority as student council president to make sure it. Well, damn! <laughs> this is the first time I've ever done anything like this, you know. But I don't care about that right now. What I want to say is... Yes? The thing is... I need to apologize to you. About? Oh, about you running away? Don't worry about that! I'm so sorry about what happened the other day. The, the, why? That make this is technically the correct answer and I don't know why. That makes me happy. That makes me happy for what happened. I, oh, well, actually, yeah, that does make me happy for what happened. Yeah, that makes me happy what you did. That was fucking badass. Really? The other day, I ran away after saying all those things to you. I can't believe I did that. I'm so sorry. Are you kidding? That, like, again? That was great! You got, like, a bazillion Kagato points from that! I had been planning to tell you how I felt. I just can't believe I said it in front of so many people. But that's not all. You've opened up a whole new world to me. A whole new world! A dazzling yeah, whatever. I can't stop thinking about you. From seeing until I can't stop thinking about you. <laughs> That's okay. Dry. I like you. I feel like I'm going to die of embarrassment. Well, don't do that. I, uh, wait a minute. Don't do, don't die. Just pass out, and I'll. Uh, I know CPR. Yes, yes. Uh, feel free to pass out. But I had to tell you how I feel. I couldn't hide it from you any longer. Whew. I feel so free now. You're very special to me. Of course, because of my situation, I can't let anyone know about this. Oh, so we're gonna have a secret relationship. <laughs> oh no. Your relationship with Mitsuru has intensified. So, apparently we're going to have a secret forbidden romance going on behind the scenes. Okay, whatever! <laughs> I'll take what I can get, I suppose. Let me hold your elbows. I didn't think that you knew that the elbows are the most sensitive part of me. Oh! From now on, I'll only call you by your first name when we're together. Oh, wow. It may feel a little awkward, but that's what I want to do. 
Well, I no longer feel shackled by my family name. I met you because of who I am. Hagata. Take good care of me. Oh my god! She is so fucking cute now! Stay with me just a little while longer. I am starting to understand now why so many people like Mitsuru. Not because of how she was in the game, but how she truly wants to be and how she is in the social world. She's a completely different person. The hours flew by as you talked with Mitsuru. You continued to grope her elbows. That's apparently all you know how to do. Later, you and Mitsuru return to the dorm separately. Gotta keep up that secret love life! Speaking of which, I should probably make up with both Yuko and Yukari. Hello! Hi! <laughs> okay, that, that was it! Go back to the room now! Don't mind me! Oh, yeah, you! Right. Uh, what am I doing on Sunday? I'm apparently not doing anything on Sunday. So, yeah, I'm free to talk. Are you free next Sunday? I was thinking going somewhere. Since I have no plans for this Sunday, sure, why not? Why not, right? I've got another bar to do! <laughs> At least we'll have something to do, because otherwise I just go downstairs, sleep, or I'm sorry, go downstairs, walk outside, come back in, go back upstairs, and sleep. It'd be a wasted Sunday, so I might as well go on a journey with Kisuke of some sort. God knows it's been ages since I last talked to him. He was probably at the point of getting pissed. I've already got two people pissed at me. I don't need three. I guess. How's my love bot? Oh god, that sounded awful. Oh god, that sounded bad! Are you available after school? For now. I see. Would you be interested in walking home together? Yes. Okay, same thing over and over. Oh my god! <laughs> what did I call it? Oh man, I can hear a strange sound off in the distance. It's a bazillion face palms happening at the same time. Or at least 10,000. <laughs> Finally, on September 24th, the Setsuma Rebellion ended. This marked the end. The end of the age of the Samurai! <laughs> We're going to skip the next chapter and go back to the Sengoku era. There's just so much more to cover. Huh? Modern history? You guys are still juniors! You'll have plenty of time to learn modern history when you're seniors. People talk about the end of the world. Well, don't worry. There'll still be another school year. Come on! Haven't you been paying attention? Look how long this country has survived so far. You feel tired. <laughs> well... See you later, dude. I'm sleeping. Bye bye. If I weren't such a genius, I'd be like the worst delinquent in the class, constantly sleeping. <laughs> All right, where are we off to now, I guess? seem angry. What the hell did I do? You are the ones that I see often at the shrine. Oh. Are they gonna... Are they mad at me because we took away Koromaru or something? Huh? Kor That's right, you speak dog. We did that? Wait. We aren't mistreating Koromaru-san. It's true that he's helping us in our battle, uh, however... No, 
Oh, right. Um, these dogs are Koromaru-san's old friends. They doubt our intentions regarding Koromaru-san since he has been more frequently injured lately. How can we make them understand? I don't know. I don't speak dog. Let's give him a treat. Just try explaining. <laughs> this is all a misunderstanding, everyone. <laughs> they don't seem to want to listen. Please, don't be angry. Calm down. I guess seems to have been bitten by a dog. Not a- not the dog, a dog. Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry, my hand is hard. Ha! <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> I see. No wonder they doubt me. They are confused since my body is not natural. I hope that dog isn't hurt. The dog tried to eat your hand! I have been thinking lately. Although my heart may become more human, my body will forever be mechanical. Of course, that's how I was designed. But I'm not strong enough to be a weapon. And I'm too rigid to pass as a human. I'm neither fish nor fowl. Not completely machine nor human. That's not true. But... Oh, I'm sorry, Kagato-san. Thank you very much. You're right. Even if I can't quite explain it, I have to be true to myself. I'm sorry for saying such things. If I hadn't been created, I would never have met everyone. And that includes you. If I can stay by your side, then nothing should faze me. A little bit of affection from Igus, and we're only at what, level three? You're already seeing another girl. Do you want to date this robot? <laughs> Half the comments are filled with, yes, we will! I guess best girl! I should make sure that the dogs understand our situation. It would be bad if you were placed in danger again. I'll see you later. Excuse me. We parted with I guess and went back to the dorm. Well, at least she was about to leave, but she decided to just stand there and stare at you. It was a very awkward time going home. Greetings. Oh, hello. Um, did you talk to the dogs? Are they okay? They're not gonna bite me, are they? Um, let's go to Tartarus tonight. It's been a while since I've suggested we should go. Ever since I was at the lab, I've been so confused. But I'm not confused anymore. I want to fight with you. Yay! Even I guess it's on board. Well, I guess she has to be because we're already past the New Year's Eve thing. I mean, before she was like, please kill him right away. And I was almost on board with that. Boy, oh boy, would I have loved that. That'll teach you for being creepy. No, I'm not gonna worry about the news. It's gonna be just boring stuff, I'm sure, now. From now on. Alright, what's next? Another Ion! Alright, how long has this episode been so far? Oh, wow, we're... We're nearing the end here for at least this episode. I mean, I'm still gonna just keep on playing. I'm gonna just go through the whole thing and just break this up into parts, but I don't wanna go over an hour by too much. I mean, these are all le uh, long plays, but I don't want it to be like a full feature-length movie for every episode. I know some of you probably won't mind, but 
there's a lot of people that can only spend so much time watching a video on YouTube. Alright, now where are we off to? Hey, the ball! And we have an old woman now. Excuse me, could I trouble you for a moment? Have you seen a kitty cat around here? She's a precious little white spotted cat named Yuli. She slipped away when I wasn't looking. I'm so worried about where she could have gone. She's almost as old as I am, so I doubt she could have gotten very far. A white spotted cat. Did you see one, Kakuto-san? Uh, let's see. Any? Okay. I think I did. My stars, really? Whereabouts might this have been? Uh, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have. Uh, uh, let's. Let me think. Over near the station. Over near the strip mall. I think there was a cat. Oh no, wait, it wasn't white. I don't remember. I see. I'm in a tizzy. I hope my little beauty is eating all right. Thank you for your help. I'll try looking elsewhere. I'm not gonna just say a place and send her off on a wild goose chase. That'd be terrible, especially for a woman of that age. A white spotted. Oh, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I guess you sure have aged really quickly. A white spotted cat named Yuli. If you don't mind, Kagura-san, could we perhaps help her look? It seems the old lady will suffer greatly if they remain separated for much longer. Oh, what a... All right. Yes. Hmm. What's the phrase usually used in situations like this? Let's split up gang jinkies? What goes around comes around to hit you in the back of your head. No. No. That, no. No, no. 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 I guess you're cute, but no. That's it? No, 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 it's not, no. She could be so hungry by now that her stomach and spine are only a minute away. Wait, what? How does that even make any logical sense what you're just saying? Or is that an instant away? Oh, we're trying to become more human by understanding our usual sayings and the like. I get it. Anyway, we should hurry. I agree, let's go find the cat. And so they spend the rest of their afternoon looking for a lost kitchen. Will they find it? We will soon find out. I guess I think you're a little bit too preoccupied with looking at all the other sites. I guess. You okay? There's no trace of her. I can sense hostile reactions such as shadows, but this... I'm useless, aren't I? I'm sorry, I was the one who began the search. You're just searching like any other human would, with their eyes. It's not working out after all. How could a machine like myself have feelings like a normal person? It's getting dark. We should return to the dorm for today. Thank you very much, Kakuto-san. It makes me happy that you took the time to indulge me in this. Well, technically the important thing is that you did try. Not so much with your, uh, common human sayings, though. Those, uh... No, no, same thing applies. At least you tried. I'll be going back alone today. I need some time to think. I'm sorry, after... And after you invited me out, too. You decided to go back to the dorm. Alone! 
Mitsuru Senpai and Akihiko Senpai went to take their entrance exams today. I can't believe they can concentrate with all that's going on. It's no big deal. I'm not going to give up. I suppose we are going against fate. But I want to do as much as I can right now. I don't want to give up on the future. By the way, if you're going to Tartarus, I'll go with you. There are two more weeks until the last battle. I can't forget that because of an exam. Wow. That makes me want to do my best, too. As for me, I'm going to go back home and sleep. Or home in, as in my room and... Good night, everybody! I'm sleeping! Sunday! We've got a date with Kisuke! Oh boy! What the heck? Where- Which store did we go into? And I know I've mentioned this a few times before, but still. What the hell is that thing? You're having a good time hanging out with Kisuke. Dude, seriously, where the fuck have you been all these months? It may be a bit much to say that I feel a sense of national pride when I eat Japanese sweets, huh? Kisuke seems embarrassed. Well, I decided that I'm going to study overseas. So that means I won't be seeing you anymore. Kisuke is looking off into the distance. Oh, I didn't mean it that way, it's just... I've always been jealous of guys who have brothers, you know? Since I don't have any. So, would... Would you mind calling me brother? How about kid brother? K kid But I'm older than you! Well, I guess I'm not very reliable, so I can see why you would think of me like that. Oh! I made him sad! You didn't get to... What ha that would uh, that would buy fast. I didn't even hit a button. This is what happens when I try and be funny. Bad things happen in this game. Welcome back. Especially with Kisuke, he can't take a freaking joke. So serious. First, I pretend I have amnesia and he gets freaked out. Now I decide to call him Kid Brother when he asks me to call him Brother and he gets depressed. Bring it, Keys K. This is why I took my time doing your social link. You're weird. Alright, <laughs> I keep making that same mistake. <laughs> 